Number 10. Glacier Girl In 1942, the U.S. rushed hundreds of warplanes to the British Isles to help Great Britain fight off the encroaching Nazis. But not all the aircraft reached their destination. For example, in July of that year, six Lockheed P-38 fighters and two B-17 bombers were forced to land in Greenland due to harsh weather. They were flying overhead when a blizzard came out of nowhere and they landed on some glaciers. Thankfully, the crew members were rescued, but they had no choice but to abandon the planes in a field of ice. Over the following decades, the eight vehicles were buried under 270 feet of snow and ice. After years of searching and digging, members of the Greenland Expedition Society brought one of the P-38 fighters to the surface in 1992. Nicknamed Glacier Girl, the plane was restored to flying condition and returned to the air in late 2002. Two years later, a pilot attempted to fly Glacier Girl on the original route across the Atlantic that it failed to complete 65 years earlier. Unfortunately, the aircraft was grounded in Labrador, Canada due to a coolant leak. In 2018, a team returned to the site to try to uncover the buried World War II birds. They used new ground-penetrating radar on drones to search the area where the planes were deserted and found another P-38 nicknamed Echo. There are many other World War II aircraft that went down over this same area of Greenland, and now the search is on to look for pilots that went missing in action. Currently, the primary target is a Coast Guard Grumman J-2F Duck that is believed to still have the remains of three airmen inside. Number 9. Pilot's Uniform While clearing out a house in East Staffordshire, England recently, workers discovered a mysterious package wrapped in an old newspaper and tied neatly with a string. Found beneath the bed of an elderly man who had just passed away, the parcel contained a Royal Air Force uniform from World War II. The pants and jacket had been wrapped for 70 years and forgotten, according to Hansen's auctioneers, who will be auctioning off the uniform. Charles Hansen, the owner of Hansen's auctioneers, said that unwrapping the parcel was like finding an unopened Christmas present from a forgotten era. CNN reported that RAF pilot crew members wore this specific style of uniform until 1941, and ground staff wore it until 1943. The jacket has brass buttons and a belt. It's adorned with an emblem of a three-blade propeller on the sleeve, which means it was worn by a senior officer. The uniform likely belonged to the recently deceased man or one of his brothers, according to their surviving relatives. The stories in the newspaper it was wrapped in date back to 1951, and it was a time capsule on its own. It featured an ad for a motorbike for $82 and a job listing for a lady clerk at a local bank. An article about what a boss looks for in the ideal secretary advised women not to paint their nails red and to know what biscuits they should serve with tea. Number 8. Mystery of the Amber Room Built during the 18th century in Prussia, the Amber Room was a stunning gilded chamber that was installed at the Catherine Palace in St. Petersburg, Russia. It was known as the Eighth Wonder of the World, with panels made of gold encrusted with several tons of jewels. It was actually made as a gesture of peace from Prussia to Russia, but during World War II, the Nazis dismantled it and packed it away in crates. It was transported to several places until it was lost forever, and the mystery of what happened to the Amber Room remains. Last year, divers discovered the wreck of a German ship called the Karlsruhe, which sank in 1945 off the coast of Poland. They suspected that the submerged vessel might be the final resting place of the Amber Room, and with good reason. When the ship departed Königsberg the final time, it was escorted by two minesweepers indicating that it was carrying valuable cargo. The divers investigated the wreck with robotic cameras and saw that there were numerous locked cargo boxes on board. Then they spent four days diving to the wreck and exploring it up close. Much to their disappointment, the team only found military equipment and personal belongings, no artwork or treasures like they had hoped. So for now, the fate of the Amber Room remains a mystery, and the search for the treasure continues. But the divers' observations were quite valuable in their own right. In a social media post, the team explained that it was compelling to witness the scattered personal belongings of the 1,000 people who died aboard the Karlsruhe. They devoted a minute of silence to those who died and cast a wreath into the sea in their honor. Number 7. Secret Military Base 
1942, the year after Hitler invaded Russia, the Nazis built a top-secret military base in the high Arctic. The facility was located on Alexandria Land, an island roughly 650 miles north of the Russian coast in the Barents Sea. Dubbed Schatzgraber, or Treasure Hunter, the base functioned as one of a network of tactical weather-watching stations for the Germans. A team of scientists from the Russian Arctic National Park announced their discovery of the site in 2016. They were the first experts to thoroughly investigate the base. While there, they collected over 600 artifacts, including canisters of food, weapons and ammunition, batteries, emergency flares, and other military equipment that was left behind when the base closed. Some of these items were airdropped by passing overhead planes. The site is in ruins today. It contains remnants of tents, bunkers, fuel drums, and an airstrip. Although Schatzgraber was a weather base, it was heavily fortified in case of an attack, and also raised suspicions that it was for some other, darker purpose as well. In 1944, staff members at the base became sick from eating contaminated raw polar bear meat. The only person who did not get sick was a vegetarian. They were evacuated by the German military, and that was the end of operations at Schatzgraber. The base closed with their departure, and it never reopened. Number 6. Lost Submarine Wreck Late last year, divers in Southeast Asia found the wreck of what's believed to be a U.S. submarine that sank during World War II. Discovered in the Straits of Malacca between the Malay Peninsula and Sumatra, the sunken vessel sits 285 feet below the water's surface. Based on its measurements, they believe that the wreck is the USS Grenadier, a U.S. Navy submarine that was attacked by Japanese aircraft and sank in 1943. At last update, they were awaiting confirmation from the Navy. The team dove to the wreck several times. They were only able to stay down there for a few minutes during each trip since it was so deep and had to use a special combination of oxygen, nitrogen, and helium to breathe. During those brief visits, the divers established that they had found a military submarine lying at the bottom of the sea with its hatches open. The vessel was closing in on two Japanese cargo ships and preparing to sink them when it was struck. It plummeted to the sea floor, and the crew tried to save it, but the captain ultimately ordered them to scuttle the submarine. The Japanese kidnapped all 76 crew members and starved, tortured, and interrogated them, according to historical records and eyewitness accounts. Four crew members died in captivity, but the rest lived past the end of the war. Number 5. Air Raid Shelter for years, Mia Gray and other residents at an apartment building in Edinburgh, Scotland dismissed an old cupboard in their basement as storage space. Nobody gave it a second thought until a new neighbor named Liz Mowbray moved in and asked what it was. Gray and Mowbray worked together to clean the space, which was full of old paint cans and garbage at first glance. They realized that the space was much bigger than anyone ever thought. It's filled with wash basins, a heater, and a pair of rotting wooden bunk beds dating back to the World War II era. The room functioned as an air raid shelter, a place where the building's residents would go during an attack. It was forgotten about after the war and finally rediscovered 75 years later. Speaking with Edinburgh Live, Gray described the room as having a bench that wraps around the walls, as well as no smoking signs, an emergency exit, a stove, and two triple bunks. She said that she thinks there were more bunk beds, but they were too damaged to identify, and mentioned that the ceiling is reinforced with metal sheets. Gray believes that a previous tenant used the space for storage after the war. They left so much junk in there, it discouraged others from exploring or repurposing the room. While Edinburgh was not a major target during World War II, it was bombed from time to time, giving locals a good reason to prepare for an attack. Number 4. HMS Urge a British submarine called the HMS Urge left Malta in April 1942 and never reached its destination port at Alexandria, Egypt. Nobody knew why the vessel disappeared or where it ended up until very recently, when the wreck was discovered off the Maltese coast. It sits 400 feet underwater, where it came to rest after being struck by a mine. For over 20 years, the University of Malta has mapped the seabed surrounding the islands. In 2017, Francis Dickinson, the grandson of the Urge's commander, reached out to the university in hopes of locating the wreck. An underwater vehicle found the sunken submarine using sonar. 
News of the discovery was announced after the British Ministry of Defense confirmed that it was the HMS Urge. Over the years, the vessel's absence sparked widespread speculation about where it came to rest. In recent years, a diver claimed that they found the submarine far off its course near the coast of Libya. Knowing the location of the HMS Urge makes it possible to memorialize those who died and for their surviving families to gain long-awaited closure. Number 3. Secret Suitcase In 2018, National Public Radio reported on a man named David McGee, whose grandfather died before he was born. David's grandmother, Effie, always kept a suitcase that she never opened and was very secretive about. Whenever David tried to ask her about it or peer inside, Effie gave him a short answer and quickly closed the suitcase. Twenty years after his grandmother passed away, David finally decided to open the suitcase, which sat in his basement gathering dust, as he prepared mentally for what might be inside. The luggage contained a collection of papers about David's grandfather, Sergeant Willie F. Williams, who fought and died in World War II. Nobody in David's family ever talked about the man. Effie had grown her collection over the years to include letters, Western Union telegrams, medals, photos, and more. Based on the records inside the suitcase, David learned that his grandfather served in an all-African-American unit and that he died doing his job managing ammunition and explosives. After doing some research, David and his wife learned that Sergeant Williams is buried in the Netherlands. They flew there and paid their respects at the American Military Cemetery in Margraten. The trove of documents David found is invaluable for helping to tell the stories of black soldiers who died in World War II. Many people are surprised to learn that there is limited information about these fallen troops. Historian Miki Kirkles told NPR that official records identify a soldier's race, but that's about it. Number 2. The Enigma Machine While searching for discarded fishing nets in the Baltic Sea off the Danish coast last year, a team of German divers discovered a rare Enigma cipher machine that the Nazis used for sending and receiving secret messages. At first, the divers thought they had found a typewriter, but underwater archaeologist Florian Huber quickly realized the artifact was of greater historical significance than that. Speaking with Reuters, he explained that he's made plenty of fascinating discoveries throughout his career, but none were quite as exciting as the Enigma machine. Shortly before the Germans surrendered in 1945, crews from 50 submarines or U-boats were ordered to scuttle their vessels and destroy their encryption devices in Gelting Bay. The recently discovered Enigma machine was probably thrown overboard to prevent it from falling into Allied hands. By the war's end, over 200 German submarines were sunk in the North and Baltic Seas. The Nazis produced several hundred thousand Enigma machines, but only a few hundred are known to still exist. These rare devices sell at auction for tens of thousands of euros each. They were used for writing what's known as the Enigma Code, which was cracked by a team of British cryptographers led by Alan Turing. Number 1. The USS Johnston During the Battle of Leyte Gulf in October 1945, the U.S. Navy destroyer USS Johnston sank 21,325 feet to the bottom of the Philippine Sea. The 377-foot-long vessel was lost for years until just recently and is one of the deepest shipwrecks ever found. Earlier this year, an exploration team descended nearly four miles in a submarine to reach the ship. It was the deepest known shipwreck dive in history. The team located the front two-thirds of the Johnston, according to the sub's pilot, Victor Vekovo. They surveyed the vessel over two eight-hour dives and found that the hull number 557 is still visible. Several fixtures remain in place, including gun turrets, twin torpedo racks, and numerous gun mounts. The Johnston is damaged from being hit by the super scary Japanese Navy battleship, the Yamato. At the time, the Yamato was the largest warship ever built. 141 of the Johnston's 327 crew members survived. Around 50 were killed by enemy action, and 45 died on rafts from their injuries, according to Navy records. 91 crew members, including Captain Ernest Evans, initially made it onto the lifeboats, but were never seen or heard from again. Thanks for watching! Do you have any World War II stories in your family? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. See you next time! Bye!